Daily Gospel Reading and Reflection Wednesday of the 33rd week in Ordinary Time, from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 19, verse 11 until 28. While people were listening to Jesus speak, he proceeded to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem, and they thought that the kingdom of God would appear there immediately. So, he said, a nobleman went off to a distant country to obtain the kingship for himself and then to return. He called ten of his servants and gave them ten gold coins and told them, Engage in trade with these until I return. His fellow citizens, however, despised him and sent a delegation after him to announce, We do not want this man to be our king. But when he returned after obtaining the kingship, he had the servants called, to whom he had given the money, to learn what they had gained by trading. The first came forward and said, Sir, your gold coin has earned ten additional ones. He replied, Well done, good servant. You have been faithful in this very small matter. Take charge of ten cities. Then the second came and reported, Your gold coin, sir, has earned five more. And to this servant he said, You, take charge of five cities. Then the other servant came and said, Sir, here is your gold coin. I kept it stored away in a handkerchief, for I was afraid of you, because you are a demanding man. You take up what you did not lay down, and you harvest what you did not plant. He said to him, With your own words I shall condemn you, you wicked servant. You know I was a demanding man, taking up what I did not lay down and harvesting what I did not plant. Why did you not put my money in a bank? Then on my return I would have collected it with interest. And to those standing by he said, Take the gold coin from him and give it to the servant who has ten. But they said to him, Sir, he has ten gold coins. He replied, I tell you, to everyone who has, more will be given. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Now as for those enemies of mine who did not want me as their king, bring them here and slay them before me. After he had said this, he proceeded on his journey up to Jerusalem. Words of the Holy Father In this penultimate Sunday of the liturgical year, the Gospel presents to us the parable of the talents, before setting off on a journey. A man gives his servants talents, which at that time were coins of considerable value. He gives five talents to one servant, two to another, one to another, to each according to his ability. The servant who had received five talents was resourceful, and he traded with them, earning another five. The servant who had received to behave likewise, and acquired another two, however. The servant who had received one dug a hole in the ground, and therein hid his master's coin. This servant did not have a trusting relationship with his master, but was afraid of him, and this hindered him. Fear always immobilizes, and often leads to making bad choices. Fear discourages us from taking the initiative. It induces us to take refuge in secure and guaranteed solutions, and thus end up not accomplishing anything good. To move forward and grow on the journey of life, we must not have fear, we must have faith. Today's prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gracious and loving God, as we reflect on the parable of the talents, we humbly come before you, recognizing the gifts and abilities you have bestowed upon each of us. Grant us the courage to be like the servants who invested and multiplied their talents, using them for the greater good. May we overcome the immobilizing grip of fear that hinders our growth and initiative. Help us cultivate a trusting relationship with you, knowing that your love surpasses our fears. In moments of uncertainty, may we choose faith over fear, 
stepping boldly into the journey of life, confident that with your guidance, we can accomplish great things for the glory of your kingdom. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.